Hello everyone, Stucker you here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. We are back in the world of Kaiser Redux, the world in which Germany won World War I and the entire world has, well, kind of gone to crap. As I'm sure that all of you are aware by now, the difference between Kaiser Reich and Kaiser Redux is that Kaiser Redux goes and keeps a lot more of the insane focus trees that were removed from the Kaiser Reich game. This stuff can get pretty dang wild. And finally, finally, my friends, I have to say this, we are out of the A's. Where I'm, I, I'm out of the A. Wait, hold on, that sounds really wrong when I'm saying it like that. Um, hold on. Uh, ignore this statement, please. But no, seriously, we can finally move on to the bees. And I hear you all loud and clear from the last time that we did an episode. I'm not going to be using the wheel. I'm not going to be doing anything like that. We're going to skip all the nations that don't have a focus tree because very clearly that was obviously a mistake when I did it before. Instead, we're moving on to the bees. And the first bee that has a focus tree is the Bharatiya Commune, the communist state in India, which I'm sure is definitely not going to result in a whole bunch of people starving and dying because that definitely doesn't happen over the course of India's history ever now, does it? But still, Lala, you have a very nice mustache, good sir. Still, we have a divided government, we have an underdeveloped economy, and at least we have the support of Gandhi. So that's something. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this thing now, shall we? Now, among all the insane focus trees that I have seen in this game, the Bharataya Commune has a interesting one, but it doesn't simultaneously seem to have one that is super crazy. It is the communist version of India, and you effectively are going to have three options that you can choose from. Without a democratic or a fascist or any other path, you have three different variants of communism that you can choose with, each of these being dependent upon the factions that dominate the government inside of India here, with that being the agrarians, the moderates, and the maximists. Gandhi, as you can probably expect, focuses more on peace and internal stability. Huck over here seems to want to focus more on industry as well as our research and development. And then Boss over here. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, he is, um, uh, th th this is the Stalinist path, which as you can probably imagine from this little spicy detail down here. Well, either way, first things first, we don't know exactly how the world is going to turn, so we are going to focus on industry because we can't actually do anything here to have a special meeting to determine our political path for at least one year. So new industries, go ahead and get this underway and let's get some industry built up here with some civvies. First things first, get basic weapons research because we're going to need those. We are also going to need research and we are going to need to start boosting our economy. I have a grand total of seven mil factories. So we're going to take some of that off of guns right now. And we're going to apply that to at least artillery and also support equipment because I think this stuff is going to be necessary. And without further ado, let's go ahead and begin then. Lala Lajput Rai and the Calcutta government. So Lala Lajput Rai, which is a very fun name to say here in the first place, president of the Indian National Congress and head of the Calcutta government, has begun to feel the strain of his advanced age creeping ever nearer. So while India is divided over in all sides and no one knows exactly what's going to happen, the leader of our government is going to give up power in a year and we are going to then determine what exactly we're going to do and we are losing stability and political power, even though this is exciting, it says. Fun. We start off with a semi-decent army, 29 forces, but none of them really have any equipment, so we're going to need to deal with that. And apparently factions within India India are greatly impressed by the totalitarian nature of Britain during this time and Oswald Mosley. How, how fun. Maybe Mahatma better watch out. Yeah, because apparently we don't want to deal with Gandhi. There I suppose is the interesting question that we're going to be looking at this now. Do we go more with the technological? Do we go with the war side or do we go with the peaceful side? It seems to be that if you look at the focus tree down here, there is a chance, even if it's small, that potentially you could peacefully unite India, but I don't necessarily see that as an option unless somehow the other Indian states in here simultaneously choose to go communist, which overall then seems kind of pointless to focus on internal development in a freaking war game. Because yeah, Princely Federation, does that even have an option down here? Actually, no, it just has reforms and whatnot. Huh, I'm actually not sure what that would do. Unite the princes, new... Yeah, who knows exactly what's going to happen with any of these sides. We might as well go down a more spicy path because this is India. And oh boy, are we going to have some spice. The anarchists get elected in France. That is a lot of fun. Excellent. And that means now over here on this side, we can start moving down our politics. Wait, did I say politics? I meant industry. First off, expand the National Railroad. Go ahead and get ourselves some infrastructure. We will need that to start developing stuff in our capital here as fast as we can in Calcutta. The syndicalists have taken over Australia. Oh boy. Okay. And an absolute coup. KMT, the Indian socialists overthrow Tibet. Wait, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Tibet? Tibet went commie. Hey, there's some fun. It looks like on all sides, we're actually starting to build up a little bit of an alliance over here. Interesting. Or not an alliance, but this could set the stage for something great. All right. We don't need more infrastructure here. So it's time to expand the national mines and get ourselves some oil. Just some basic stuff while we focus on further development. We're basically going to make a beeline and do everything in here to get ourselves some industry before we focus on anything for politics. Oh, Polish nationalists seize control of the of the nation. Great. Oswald Mosley just took over Britain, meaning they're going to be going even more totalist. Uh, that's going to be a lot of war, war hungry crap. And apparently we're receiving support from the other syndicalist nations. So that is actually pretty nice here. 
All right, it is time for the third international. That means as India, since we're going to be the developing state, we are going to be getting more support from the other forces around us, which is going to be nice. The communists are at least willing to support the other communists in the form of trying to take over the world because we, we need it. We need to support everyone and the common worker. That's totally not going to turn around and bite people in the ass. Oh, wait, here's an option. Women's role in the worldwide revolution. Today, the British feminist Helen Crawford took the stage with her flaming speech about women's role in the world revolution. According to her arguments, without women's participation in industry and armed forces, it will be impossible to defeat the many enemies of the proletariat. So participation of working women is necessary to achieve the worldwide revolution or women in the factory send them back to the... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to be hurting on political power for quite a while. 1% stability. I'll, I'll take the participation of women. Sure, sure. So more men can die on the front line. That seems great. And apparently the other Indian states do not like that socialism in India is a thing. The end of the first Congress. Wonderful. That is now over. Excellent. And the... Oh, wait. Uh, Germany just declared war on Poland. Okay. All right. Germany, could you not do that for like five minutes, no matter what universe it is? Riots and protests at the Rangoon University. Let us keep a firm eye upon the Burmese. Yes, excellent. Potentially speaking, they could have another revolution over on this side. An Indo-Chinese tragedy. Do we send help? Because apparently the communist once again wants to rise down here in this region. As you know, in history is always topical with creating hellish conditions for everyone else. Sure, send our help. We're going to lose 30 political power, but potentially that could really help us if we can secure another ally. Yep, here goes Poland back once again. It is just a full puppet of Britain. Yeah, wait. Our offer of guarantee independence has been accepted by the People's Collective of Sikkim? Wait, Sikkim? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I didn't offer shit. Wait a minute. Where? Where? That... I, I, I didn't do this. Sick. Also, whoa, what is all these effects? An archaic and feudalistic realty? A reality? Dominance of the nobility. Archaic armed forces? Oh my god, these are old. And the high peasant council of Sikkim. Wait a minute. What kind of- This has a focus tree. Sikkim has a focus tree. Are you kidding me? Oh lord, I, I, do, I do not know how, um, how, how much I'm going to appreciate once it is that I'm going to have to do that. Oh god, I, I do not look forward to this. The Australasian Union declares war on New Zealand. Oh no. Yes. Yes, you commie Kiwis. No, Kiwis. That's the other guys. That's New Zealand. Emus. The emus are coming to spread their love and support. And by love and support, I mean they're spreading death and destruction wherever they go. Oh, Indochina declares independence? Okay, but wait. The Deutsche Einstein declared war on the Indochinese Union. Please. Yes. 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 Fight back. Protectorate of Anam. What is this? It is also a puppet, but the Indochinese are breaking away. Go. Go, my communist brothers. The proclamation of the Burmese Republic. In Burma, the corrupt Kambang dynasty has been toppled by a coalition of protesting workers, students, and an army refusing to carry out the order of the massacre of the latter's peaceful demonstrations. Hey, hey. <laughs> Burma is nothing but the smelly armpit of the continent. What? Yeah, of course we're going to welcome them. Sure. The Union of Burma now joins with us. Wonderful. Simply freaking beautiful, man. You're the best smelly armpit a brother could love. The Council of Princes dissolved. Whoa. Hey, from the south, news has arrived that the political situation in the princely federation is quickly eroding. The Nizim of Hyderabad, Osman Ali Khan, today dissolved the Council of Princes, setting himself up as the sole head of the government. Okay. Hey, well, that could create some opportunities here. Yep, the Mysore state declared war on the princely federation. Okay, that, yep, yep, that is happening down here. If that creates even more chaos for me, I would greatly appreciate that. So let's continue to build a military industry then. Ooh, and the Travancore state rose up down here in the south too. Wait, are they going to break apart into multiple rebellions? Chaos in the princely federation. Send forces to occupy Vizgapatanam. Or no, this plan is too risky. No, no, we're definitely going to go and occupy him. Absolutely. Give me that political power and also simultaneously maybe we should go ahead and split these forces and send them over to the south just in case we need to be prepared. Yes, Vizgapatanam is ours. As expected, the princely forces were too preoccupied to do much more than express outrage at our occupation of this. By the time the war is done, the border will have been solidified. <laughs> <laughs> we just get it as a core. Wait, did they give us any factories? No, we just we got 3 million population. Holy crap. All right. Okay, well, that means we can continue to build up our industry and we will fix things before we even touch stuff in our politics. And Indochina is still going. Dang. Okay, this is actually going to take a while here in terms of fighting. Here it is. The economy renewed. We no longer have a recovering economy. That at least puts us on somewhat decent footing with the rest of uh, Europe and everything else over here. By somewhat decent, I mean, well, we're, we're, we're just getting this economy started. But we will be able to do quite a bit here 
soon, I'm sure. Oh, there goes the second American Civil War. All right, that is now burning to the ground over here. The giant is asleep for good, and let's see if we can perhaps influence that in the future. Maybe if we can get the communists to take over that, that can help us even more. The global revolution is upon us, my brothers. Let's do this. Spread the spice. The spice of fun and friendship and totally not burning everything to the ground. And now it's time for us to determine what we're going to be doing politics-wise. The special meeting of the INC with La La Lodge, La 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 Lodge Pod Rod. God damn it. With Lala Lodgepot Rai's term coming to an end, all of Calcutta is buzzing with excitement prior to the convening of the Indian National Congress. There's expected to be a new head of state, but who? Here it is, the special session of the Indian National Congress. We're going to need to determine what it is that we're going to do. Internal fraction must be quelled. We'll go ahead and start preparing a military industry to get ourselves prepared on this side. And while we wait for the events to pop up, we need to go over here and start establishing our central command and determine what we're going to be doing with our military. And here we are, the first of the events that are going to change our politics. So here's the way that this works. There's going to be a series of things that occur that depending upon the outcome that we choose, that is going to change our politics. So we're going to be presented with an option like boss goes and denounces landlordism. And then we get to determine how we respond to that, either saying that feudal practices must be eradicated for the moderates. Let's only nationalize the biggest ones or heed Mahatma and allow private property to exist. And each one of these effects is going to cost us or give us political power and increase the growth of one of the three big forms of communism in the country. So really, it's time to decide what is that we're gonna do. Do we wanna go for peace, technology, or pure destruction? Well, not gonna lie, this um, this looks like some spicy fun, and considering how the rest of India is probably really pissed off at me taking territory in the first place, uh, I think that the revolution needs to come by means of force, if you will. We're just gonna keep on supporting boss. He's right, the feudal practice must end. Nehru laments the state of industry. Yeah, industry and agriculture must both be expanded, no matter the cost. No matter how many people that I am willing to sacrifice, it's never going to be enough, because we're just gonna be able to throw more people into the pile because it's India. That sounds horribly dark. Wait, that was said the Mokhli declared war on Tibet? No, Tibet is my fellow communist state. You don't do anything. Mahatma urges unification. Yeah, no, princes and lapdogs must be driven out by bayonet point. We are not going to unify peacefully here. There is going to be force that is going to be reckoned with. And and, and, and I'm, the, I'm the force. I'm not sure if you all could understand that from the context clues I was providing. Spain breaks out into a civil war and the session has endorsed Bozus and the Maximus. So let the ruling classes tremble because the Maximus have taken charge. Wonderful. Look at this. Look at this. We got a freaking tiger up here in our flag. That is beautiful. Bose, you look like a very friendly dude. Unfortunately, you are not very friendly at all. The Tarko Caius has claimed Mexico and monarchy is restored in Greece. The revolution comes for you all, whether you like it or not. There is our central command established, which means it's time to bypass this because we have Bose in charge and we will not be defeated. The first order of business for Bose is to address the nation and the totalists are expected to take a harsh line when it comes to the commune's advancement over the next several years. To Bose, the Barataya commune and the capability of advancing its own interests and modernizing its military without independence on outside forces, but only at incredible cost. Yeah, a lot of people are going to die, but that is a price that I'm willing to pay. Apparently. All right, we will not be defeated as done. Next up on here, organize vital industries because we need some mill factories to start going ahead and developing our industry further in order to build a military that we're going to need to utilize all this population for sacrifice. It's going to be for sacrifice. Now, there goes the fourth Balkan war breaking out. That's that's a lot of fun then. You know, it's September 1937. The world is already at 65% tension. This is uh, This is a very violent world from what I can see here. Oh, wow. And the Mongols are having some fun over here, too. They are surrounding the Moklik. Oh, Tibet is fighting back. You can do it, buddy. And now that we finally have a bit of a surplus in equipment, it's time to start training some forces. Rifle Division 2, this at least has some artillery in it, so this is what we're going to be building here for a while. Another 21 division should suffice. That should be fine. And whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Was that Nepal declared war on Delhi? Why? What? Nepal, Nepal, what are you doing, buddy? You are going to die. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> no, wait, no, they're actually gaining in some areas. What? Well, I guess now as the Stalinists, we have two options then. Uh, we either start a purge or we rouse the masses. This gives us a little bit more population that we can recruit into the military, but this gives us bigger bonuses in the end once we have uh, sufficiently called the population. Yeah, you know, how about a little bit of a purge? We have the population to spare. Come on, come on, come on, we're India. I don't think we need to worry about any of that. And we still have this with only 1.5% of our population being able to be recruited. Support from the Union of Britain. Hey, yes, give me some mills. 
All right, the purge has started. Now it's time for a new army. With the purge of our army complete, it's time to replace what was lost and ensure that all the officers that promoted are loyal to the Maximist cause. Indeed. It looks like we're getting huge bonuses here, but not necessarily. It's just going to be 50% cheaper to recruit military leaders, but we will gain after, you know, what caused from this, from the purge, at least 10% division recovery and 10% org, which is massive. So now, my friends, it is time to end the national debate because, my friends, while there will always be conflicts within the Calcutta government, it is time to draw the constant infighting to an end. If the Bharatiya commune is to unite all of India, it must be done with all three factions hand in hand, working together towards a common goal to completely wreck everything. I'd say the fall of Atlanta. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, a lot is happening. Japan announces her ambitions and this is, um, yeah, America is pressed on all sides. Millions are probably set to die. Wait, agrarians threaten war. Whoa, 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 whoa. The purges to the commune army, more important, the efforts made by the Maximus to eliminate all officers loyal to other factions has stirred a great deal of anger within the Indian National Congress. The opposition is centered on Mahatma himself, who has called upon Bose to step down as chairman. While Gandhi has advocated for peaceful resistance, there are elements within the agrarians who are ready to lead a general uprising in his name, even if it means replacing him as party leader. Oh my god. Um, um, well... <laughs> I guess it's going to be spicy either way, no matter what we do. I have to be at peace, which means that I'm going to lose 10 days. Screw it. War? Yep, there it is. Okay. Yep, there's the agrarian revolt. Okay. And there's war. Yep, knew that would happen. Which means that my national focus got canceled. Wonderful. Can't. I lost all of that time. I can't do any of that crap. Uh, okay, and I guess we just focus on building up our army experience then. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh my god, they got so many units. Why did they get so many units? When did they get so many units? 39 divisions. Seriously. Okay, fuck it. Let's break through. Come on. Attack on all sides. Just burn on through. Okay, there is uh, that. Now, let's see. Establish army training. Mobility exercises. Yes. Okay, division training time. Perfect. Land reduction. We want to boost this as much as possible. We need to get down here to integrated support and get ourselves uh, get ourselves some ability to fight. Here, maybe we move in and surround everything from all sides. Keep that going, perhaps. All they have is copious amounts of infantry that are just throwing themselves at me and dying. All right, if we can just move in from this side, just keep on moving, 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 moving. I don't care how many of you die. There's plenty more of you where that came from. Oh God, I'm turning into Winston Churchill. My wife just walked in exactly as I said that and I don't know how to react. Hi. Oh my God. And right exactly as this happens, now the Insulatian revolution breaks out. Now I have to send volunteers, equipment? Sure, you know what? It's not like I need the guns here myself in my own country. Come on, come on, you can break through. You can do it. Damn it, come on. <laughs> I just want to break through this. Oh, how many lives am I sacrificing at this point? Okay quite a bit quite a bit but you know what it'll be fine because at least we can level up all of our stuff over here here we go here we go come on push 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 just keep on attacking over on this end come on come on just push through i don't care how many of you have to sacrifice just keep on pushing through boost our attack power grind away yes finally all right from four different sides come on just take the capital if we take this they don't have any other territory we can do this no we can't do it oh my god i thought these were a bunch of agrarian farmers why do they know how to fight back that shouldn't be a thing come on come on come on grind away grind away grind away keep on fighting i don't care how many of you have to die oh god i really am turning into winston churchill yes okay finally dear god Oh my god, the Agrarian Revolt. Yeah, just go ahead and seize that. Uh, finish that thing off. Boom. Okay, great. That at least takes care of that part. The Agrarians are defeated. We gain stability. We gain uh, political power. We gain a lot of ability. We can go ahead and flesh things out over on the side now. And that means that since we finally finished that off, I think it's time for the final showdown, my friends. Gain base war support of plus 10%. It's inevitable that we will face both the Dominion of Delhi and the Princely Federation at some point in the near future, but we should ensure that we're as strong as possible before we do that. Yep, let's go ahead and prepare, recruit as many men into the army as we can get, and oh my god, we actually have a lot of equipment. Okay, well, that means time to flush out some bigger armies. Let's see, do we prepare for the north or prepare for the west? Well, currently, since the south seems to be occupied over here, I think it's time that we focus over here on the west. Prepare the western border, and let's get ready to rumble. Oh, whoa, Africa, Africa is on fire. I mean, really nothing different than usual, but hey, here you go. That's, uh, wow, that, that is not a pretty picture here, I'll tell you that much. And here we go, February 1939, we get two options. We have the options of either taking Hyderabad directly and just attacking it, or we can potentially let an uprising occur. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? We'll do the quicker one. Just go ahead and declare war. It doesn't really matter. I think we're going to vastly outnumber them at this point. Yeah, they do not have the civilian or military factories to have built up a force. We're just going to be able to swoop them, and they are currently dealing with all the crap down here in the south. This has been a massive pain for you now, hasn't it? There it is. Take Hyderabad. Let's go ahead and launch the attack. We can just run over here 
with overwhelming force. There's no way for them to stop us. At the same time, let's go ahead and get a trade treaty going with the English. Because of course, Indian Anglo trade relations, that's never been a source of abuse. And it's definitely not going to happen under a communist system. Absolutely not. Wait, why is Nepal have a bo Oh my God, the Nepal lost. I forgot the North was dealing with the Nepalese war. <laughs> Morgan liberals end up taking over after the freaking Dominion of Delhi killed Nepal. Okay, well, they're not exactly going to be able to stop us, so let's just uh, swoop on down here through everything. Volunteers? Sure. Send volunteers to me. I greatly appreciate it. Oh my god, are we actually having difficulty? We can't cross the freaking rivers, man. I don't have engineers. I completely forgot I didn't put engineers in any of my forces. Oh my god, minus 10% consumer goods? And bonuses for industry? Are you kidding? Oh my god, yes. Yes! That is glorious! All right, time to centralize the army supply, which is going to reduce the cost of infantry equipment and artillery. All of this Indian manpower thrust into the field. Holy crap, we're going to be able to produce a lot. Wait, was that Dominion of Delhi declared war on the Princely Federation? Did you actually do that? Did you actually do that over here, buddy? You did, but I already cut you off, so it's not going to work. I can't believe they're actually working with us here. Not that that actually matters in this case, because they're not getting any of the territory. But you know what? I guess it doesn't matter. Good luck, buddies. Because after we've centralized the army's command, it's time to rule the ground, which grants supply consumption minus 5%, land doctrine reduction cost, and more planning speed. Honestly, the supply is the only thing I really care about, but our primary focus with India is on the army. Because yes, of course, naturally, we, we, we have a lot of forces here that need to be considered. And there goes the princely federations. They didn't even have much equipment for me to seize at all. But you know what? That's fine. Because now I can go over here and seize all forces. They don't have the authority authority to be able to take any of it. And boom, it is my own. My sore? No, you are mine. Everything is mine. Oh, the Russian state has declared on Finland. Hey, hey, we're seeing some developments over here. Nothing has happened on this side yet with the commies, but we have, okay, fascists over in control of Russia. That is, yeah, wow, that, that, that that's getting spicy over here then. And so, okay, there's one down. Now, I guess only one to go. So it is time instead to prepare for the Northern border. And wait, actually, hold on, I forget. Was Dominion of Delhi, were they, were they ally? Oh God, yeah, they're part of the allies. Okay, okay, that, ha, 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 ha. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to need a lot more men in the field. Yep, there goes the second Will Krieg that breaks out. That means that everything is going to become chaos over on this side. Now we can choose to take Delhi or have the Socialists of the North unite. Simply attack the North may not be enough. It may be risky, but we could also contact Socialist elements within the Dominion and get them to rise up as we attack. Well, it's either that or just directly attack. I think that this might be the better option. You know what? Screw it. Let's freaking go for it. Oh, and the French national state now declares war on the commune of France. Okay, that means that they're going to be distracted over on this side. Potentially, if we see some more invasions, they won't be able to support things over here for the Dominion of Delhi. The Entente may be moving to reclaim Europe, but it is not my problem. We're just going to spread the love and glory of communism in the South. <laughs> Even as the Russian boots are now marching west to Germany. Okay, here we go. Everything is going into chaos. Socialists of the North unite. Yes. Make the attempt to matter of risk. Abandon the scheming and declare war. Well, let's see what happens. Make the attempt. A successful uprising. Yes, the socialist rebels managed to gather in Shimio without being detected by the Dominion of our allies. It's time for the war to begin. Let's do it. Quick, launch the attacks on all sides. Keep it moving. And Lakshmi Sengal. Oh, this babe is about to attack from the south. Or south. North. North. From the north. Through Kashmir, we march. I actually don't care if these units get sacrificed. The entire purpose of this, why we were even doing this in the first place, is to try and take out as much of their supply as possible. If we can do so, we will be set. And now quickly, let's go ahead and spawn the army units that we had out here. I don't know if they're going to end up attacking me from the south, so we need to go ahead and get a garrison going. Yep, everyone else is joining in. So now it's time to push. Time for the fun to begin. Oh, whoa, we're actually making steady progress progress up here. Okay. Oh, whoa. No, these guys are getting surrounded. We are not going to be able to cut through nearly as much as I thought we were going to be able to. Damn, I was hoping for a bigger distraction up here. It looks like it's not happening. Oh, yeah. These guys are not going to be able to hold out for very long. That's actually going to suck. Okay. Well, oh no, I forgot the Portuguese were allied with them. Quick, before they can suffuse this entire side here. We need to go ahead and send the forces over. Quick, before they can front the front line. If they send all of their forces over here, I am screwed, man. Whoa, Nepal? Nepal collapsed already. Seriously. Hey, I will accept that. Oh my God. They're actually kind of holding out. They're actually kind of holding out up here. <laughs> oh, the distraction is working. How many units do we trap over here? Sardinia? French? Oh, buddies. Buddies, it's not going to work out for you. Oh my God. We're actually holding up here at the top. Yes. More units surrounded in the south. Wipe them out. Wipe them out. Such a nice little pocket. Keep on going. 
Wonderful, there goes the Portuguese, which means we have finally secured Goa. The stain of the commune is now cleansed. Well, at least some of it. There, there's a lot more here that we're gonna have to fight over. Wonderful, another army wiped out here. Now we can move on steadily further north. How many men have we lost? 65,000, okay, decent amount, but holy crap, have we wiped out way more. How am I doing this? <laughs> they're just, they're not able to bring all their forces over because I'm sure they're having to deal with everything over on this side. All right, set ourselves limited conscription, get even more manpower, fantastic. And it's time to restore order in all these territories that we conquered. Oh, our guys are holding out here in the north. If you could just hold yourself off a little bit further, retreat back, retreat back. Just hold the mountains, hold the mountains and defend people. Oh my God, my stability is so low. Why is my stability so low? The people apparently don't like dying in the millions here to save India. Oh my God, that's a lot of units. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can catch these, we can catch these. Volunteers, Chile, yes! I knew that Chile would support me. We both, uh, we both specialize in peppers. Ah, see, see what I did there. Okay, don't hate me. Come on, come on, it was, I had to. Victory in the north, no, we will fight on. Proposed an armistice? You've driven the perfidious British lapdogs to the continent. The time has come to win peace for all of India by sending an envoy to Delhi's masters, demanding they end their war against us and leave our people be. Oh, uh, oh my God, I lose all my war support if I join in. Okay, propose an armistice. Do I, do I get everything? Oh, we're still at war with Delhi, but all the rest are not at war with me anymore. I'm out of the war. Oh my God, we're just gonna be able to clean things up rapidly then at this point. Okay, well, time to sweep in then. That is such a cool little feature here. Yes, yes, the Dominion of Delhi falls. They lose all support. And with that, we have have a united India. The Bharataya commune has succeeded. Everything is ours. Glory to India, Betty. Betty? Be Betty. Baby. Baby. Baby is what I meant to say. I don't know why Betty would be over here in India. The tiger of boss rises from the ashes. Everything is ours, and we have secured all this glorious population and factory. Now, over time, we'll gradually be able to restore order in all these different territories, and our industry is about to skyrocket. Of course, not all of India is united, as we can see here in the south. Do I have anything over here, focus-wise, I can actually do for that? I do. I do. We can integrate the states. Okay, you know what? You know what? Rapid order. Who cares if we're going to lose a day here on the bomber focus? I don't care. India is united, baby. I hind. The subcontinent is once again ours. Now what? Declaration of the People's Republic of Argentina. That's what I like to see. A serious victory for socialism. My God, we're actually more successful over here. I wonder, can I, can I go over and help France? No, I don't have valuable units to be able to do. All I have is sheer numbers at this point. They keep on going up as we get more core population. Now it's time to call for a meeting of the INC, and with India United, the first order of business will be to gather a special session of the Indian National Congress in order to determine how we will approach the governance of the nation as a whole. With this comes a new election for a head of state, and it will be an important day for one that determines what the future and the direction of India will look like. Wonderful. Oh, and Austria just declared war. Austria and its empire fight the French once more. Oh, no! As the Hungarian Empire declares war on the communists of France. No! I needed this! I can't have the commies fall! There we go. A special meeting for the INC has been called, and oh my god, I freaking and realized what the hell i i never i never got rid of the minus 20 percent stability depot oh my god how did i forget this i had divided organ ah oh! that's hurt the organization of my troops this entire time are you kidding me okay well the state reorganization act the provinces of the vanquished reactionary states were organized in a predictably feudal manner princely administered in some while others fell under bourgeois control so the congress must first decide how to administer the new districts we have syndicalism, more syndicalism, or totalism. No, we've gone totalist. That's exactly what we're doing. It's the pure authoritarian dominant state. I don't give a shit what any of you all care about. This is what we're doing. The issue of landlordism. No, total state control over the estates and factories. Everything is needed. All of you get the hell out of my country or go to the work camps. It's the natural state of things. Don't look at me like that. The Indian subcontinent is diverse economically as it is ethnically and religiously. No, I all layers of the economy must be centrally administered. And as for how to maintain order, well, we're going to have strict martial law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the status of minorities, religious, and caste rights? No, the army shall guard the rights of all the people of India. You are all equal meatbags to me. And so with that, the Maximus still remain in control. fan freaking tastic With now an even bigger popularity support than we had before. The fall of London. Whoa, no, 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 Canada. Canada, how could you? Well, with the national debate over, that should remove the divided government thing, right? Yeah, uh, awesome. And so now since we control Nepal, let's go ahead and get cores on that and just start finishing everything off. Nepal expanded into the Indian lowlands and the chaos following the World Creek. It's time to reassert our domain over those territories. Everything will belong to India. The Wait, did that say that the Socialist Republic of Venezuela capitulated? No! No, Canada! Stop killing all the commies! 
please. All right, cores on Nepal are taken. Time to integrate the Deccan state, and let's see if they will actually go ahead and submit to us. They're not guaranteed by anyone, and they don't have any other support from any state, so it's, it should be fine. Russian state has declared on Iran. Why? Why would you do this? You were already dealing with this in Germany. England, no! Why? Why worker state of Britain? Madras refuses. Okay, well... Are any of the others gonna join? Well, let's go ahead and see if we can secure Burma then. Oh wait, no, that canceled because I declared war. Okay, well, time to determine the fate of the officers and see what happens. Travancore submits, excellent. Yes, with them submitting, that means we can go ahead and attack from the other side here. Yes, yes, go, go my brothers. They won't be able to stop us. Pondicherry Falls and Madras Falls. We seize all their equipment, we take everything and boom, that is now done. Worker state of Britain collapsed. No, no, please. Why, why? All right, well, the case of the Delhi government officer corps, time to determine what to do with them. The nation needs every single man or we have no need for British lapdogs. Yeah, screw these guys. They're not true commies. Who gives a shit? Now it's time to just go ahead and integrate Burma. Yeah, Burma, sorry about that. You know, it's the totalist option here. There's nothing like communists turning on themselves and uh, breaking each other down. That is hi very historically accurate. And the best part is they're not prepared for it at all because it happens so suddenly. Italian Federation declared on the Socialist Republic of Italy. Wait, where was the social? Oh my god, down here. It's getting murdered. Ah. Uh... All right, what to do with reactionary officers? Nope, nope. We cannot trust these reactionary maggots. Get rid of them all. We don't need any of these people. That's not the purging way of communism. And there's the fall of Burma. We seize all their equipment. Go ahead and take everything. Boom. Bam, bam. Navy, all of it gone. The Raj is united. Except Ceylon down here, which is still owned by the German Empire. I don't think I appreciate that. Can I claim? Will they give it? Will they give it? Let's see what happens. I'm hoping the Germans will not want to deal with me on this side while they're already still fighting the Russians and everyone else over here. Nationalizing the Yenyang oil fields. The worker at the Yenyang oil fields were the primus motor of the recent Burmese revolution. Their strike against the capitalist system and robbery and oppression is what galvanized the latent dissatisfaction with the Kongling dynasty to fall. So what are we going to do? Maintain the status quo, let the oil fields be run? No. Add to an infrastructure and take over even more territory. More totalism. It is a total takeover. Now, how does Germany respond? Oh, wait, they accepted it. They just gave me Ceylon. Oh, that's beautiful. Restore order, everybody. Even more territory. How much freaking population are we going to get by the end here? Now it's time for the Burmese territory in Siam. The Siamese kingdom was one of the more opportunistic of the vulture states that exploited the disorder of the Raj demise. Time to see if we can reclaim back some of that old territory. And if they refuse, we murder them. Seems legit. Do they give in? Let's see what they do. Our demands for Siamese Burma are refused. Then we shall liberate the Malay Peninsula by force. Yup, sorry about that. Uh, it's time for some fun. I do not care if that also means that we're going to be fighting Japan. It looks like that's going to be the big enemy that we're going to be going against here. So you know what? Storm it. Let's go. Escape of the Chinese adversary group. No, 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 no. No one's escaping. Everyone will fall. Spread the commie love here, baby. Come on, overwhelming numbers across the mountains. Just keep on pouring across. We're eventually going to break through. Eventually, even though it seems like I have way too many men focused in this area. We're fighting in horrible, horrible jungles, it looks like. Come on, how many men have we lost so far? Holy crap, I've lost almost 100,000. We're just pouring into this gap now, aren't we? A naval invasion? No! Oh my god, I'm realizing I'm fighting Japan, which means that all of my convoys are dying. I forgot that Japan has a freaking navy. How do I forget that Japan has a freaking navy? There we go. There's the naval invasion defeated. Okay, we're we're pushing in gradually. We've um we've managed to lose a good 200,000 men at this point, but you know what? There's plenty more where that came from. This is India after all. Another naval invasion? Stop it, Japan! Japan, calm the fuck down, please. Again! Stop naval invading me! Ah! Oh my god, when did Japan invade from the north? No! No, 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 no! That's gonna cut me off. Crap, hold up, hold up, hold up. We were saving this for this exact moment. When did this even happen? Luckily, I'm India with infinite population and manpower, so I can just crap out a whole bunch of units real quick and uh, push those up here. Because as much as I've lost 250,000 men, I can continuously push from all angles. Wait, did that say that the Byzantine Empire declared war on the- When did the Byzantine Empire come back? What? When- when was this a thing? Oh no, and now even France. France is falling. Okay, great, 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 yes. At least Germany appears to be having a very rough time with Russia right now. Yes, okay, there goes Siam. Wait, are we- Oh, I'm not at war with any of this stuff. Oh, 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 okay, that at least clears up one of the sides. All right. Oh god, wait, they invaded from the south again. How did I not realize they invaded from the freaking south again? Oh my god, then they just launched another naval invasion. <laughs> Japan's calm down. 
<laughs> and Byzantine Empire is going after Bulgaria. I can't even make sense of this world. Okay, I'm trying my best here and I can't do anything. Okay, there we go. Another one wiped. Uh, and I still haven't cleaned this up yet. Another one and you're winning after my freaking capital? You idiots, what are you doing running around India like this? You know what? I don't even care. It's time to start justifying on all of this. We have to be able to move in and take out this territory because I am not going to be able to naval invade Japan from this side. We're going to need to fight in China again. Screw it, we ballin'. Let's go. Oh my God. Did you just para drop troops? No, 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 no. They're invading their cash. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? This is so annoying. The fall of Paris. No, 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 no. The fall of Paris means the German Empire is actually succeeding over here. No, 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 no. Don't let them do that. Don't let them do that. The Russians are finally taking out the Germans from this side. Wait, when did my forces get trapped over here? No, come on. When did you do this? When did you freaking do this, man? I freaking hate fighting in this region. It's all jungle and crap. Fuck it, we're invading through the south. I don't even care anymore. Let's go. This um, th 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 this might have been a mistake. Refer return to the French exiles. France, no, no, France. Oh my God, what is wrong with Europe right now? Russia, whoa, my God, Russia and the Byzantine Empire. What the hell? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. When when did a federal government? What the fuck? I did what the what the what the fuck? What is the federal government? I control this territory. Why did now that suddenly they control it? It, it trapped twenty eight divisions. Are you shitting me? Game, game, why would you do this to me? Everywhere I go, all I can see is units somehow breaking through in different spots, getting isolated and then forcing me to have to attack and attritioning in the freaking jungle of mountains, man. I can't even control this micro anymore. It's getting so annoying. No, now the freaking Germans are coming back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I feel like I'm going insane. Oh my God. And when did the Pacific States of America, the social, when did you take all of Canada? What is this? What, what is what, what is this that I am looking at here? But I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to, what, what to make of this anymore. I, I can't, I can't, I can't process it. We're not, we're, we're stuck in all directions. We're not able to, there are still pockets. How, how did you get troops over here? There are no troops. There are no troops. We just, for whatever reason, haven't taken, why have we not taken any of this? What is all this? Did you attack the divisions in here and then just not freaking do anything? Wait, the fall of Prague. What do you mean the fall of Prague? Oh my God, Russia is actually about to take Germany. Yes, yes, please break the Reichspakt. Please, 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 please take all this. That means I will finally be able to end the war on my side. I'm begging you just end this already. The Fangtown government has capitulated. Great. Okay, so there's that. Do, do I get anything? Is Wait, no, is this all over? What do I even have that I could take? I don't want any of this. Damn it. I guess the Qing Imperial Authority gets it. And German Empire's calls. Why do you continuously call all these forces, Germany? You're about to die. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. That's the collapse of the Reichspakt. Yes. Yes. Please. Oh, God, that sound. Ah, okay. So I guess we just peace out of all that. Hungary's capitulated. There goes the Reichspakt. Okay, now we have the end. German Empire, all this. I can seize this territory down here, right? No, no, it's Poland, Sweden, Lithuania, and Ukraine. I don't want any of that. There we go, Vietnam. <laughs> Freaking finally. Oh my God. Can I just seize all this so that that is done? So I I, I have this land. Am, is it over? It's not over because it's still for Japan. I can't fight Japan. I physically won't be able to fight Japan. I don't have a navy. I'm in India. I don't have a freaking navy, man. Oh. Oh, hey, Mongolia capitulated. Okay, there's that. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, wait, what, what the? F what the? What is it? Click name. You naval invaded Japan. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Ask for military access. Yes, please. Quick, we got to help attack Tokyo. I want this war over, damn it. How did the Chinese naval invade Japan? Did Japan lose its entire Navy? Oh no, that's what it was. They went and freaking attacked the United States. So they probably sent their entire Navy over there. Why would you do that, Japan? The fall of Tokyo. The jewel of Asia is gone. Yes. And there it goes. Oh my God. That took forever. Oh my God. There it is. Beautiful. Simply freaking beautiful. You know what? That that's, that's how we end a Hearts of Iron 4 game right there with the worst goddamn border gore I think I've ever seen in my life. What if we, oh my God, what did we do? What have I done? The moment India and communism mixed, we knew it was going to be a mistake. And by God, were we right. Everyone, I don't even want to continue with all this. I know that technically speaking, I'm still at war with all the other states in this world, but I'm, I don't have a Navy. I, I'm tired. I've been doing this forever. And while India was an incredible amount of fun here in the beginning, holy crap, I probably should have chosen a smarter enemy to fight. And by a smarter enemy, I should have been smarter about choosing my enemy. 
enemy for always gonna and more people are being called into war against me i'm done it's over everyone this has been the stupidly powerful india where we just bled our people dry and i say that but we still have a reserve of six million people despite losing millions in combat yeah yeah endless supplies of men goodbye everyone i hope you have a good rest of your day and let me know what we should do for any of the future paths that you all think are interesting i will see you all next time goodbye everyone <laughs>